I went to quickly mention this because I feel like I'm going a bit mad over here. I see on social media, especially on Twitter, sneaker Twitter being the prime example of it. I see loads of people going absolutely goo goo gaga over these Action Bronsons, um, New Balance 990 V6s. And to me personally, they look a bit crap. They look a bit underwhelming. If anything, I just don't understand the hype around them at all. Again, big fan of Action Bronson. Think he's an absolute sick dude. Love his shows that he did on Vice. Love his journey that he's going through with weight loss. And generally, he's a pretty decent rapper in terms of an artist overall something that i can definitely put in put on in the background on a sunday and chill out and do my thing with but this in terms of a new balance collaboration i'm just not getting down with it the slightest i don't like them whatsoever personally and i'm actually a big fan of the 990 um, v6s personally apart from other people not really liking them but i actually like the updated um shape and obviously silhouette of them overall but i just don't understand the hype of them online people getting crazy for them so it says here despite the fact that the idea has cancelled his friends and family um ultra boost collaboration actually boost is Action Bronzer, sorry, still managed to stay close to the realm of footwear collaborations by exciting by executing exciting a partnership with New Balance back in September the American rapper and foodie quietly teased his forthcoming creation by rocking his collaborative pair during an AWE wrestling match fast forward a couple of months later he's now taken to Instagram to provide us with an initial look at the pair now don't get me wrong Action Brunson wearing them himself in this amazing fit that he's got on with his crocodile flipping shirt and his Nike socks which is funny with a pair of New Balances for me being an avid and a long term and an OG sneakerhead <laughs> as the kids like to say um, you can't be wearing Nike socks with new, with new Balances. You can't be wearing Nike socks with anything that's not Nike, personally. But hey, what do I know? So him in this fit looks amazing. You know, the t-shirt, the right length just underneath the sweatshirt, the right length of shorts. And just in generally, as a bigger dude, Action Brunson's got swag for fucking days. So big up him. He makes him look great. But to me, they look pretty shocking. I'm not going to lie. They don't look that great. I'm not that interested in them in the slightest. And if anything, you know what screams to them at me? You know what I get when I see these shoes? They just feel like a New Balance ID. Do you remember early on when Nike ID came about and they had that bespoke program where you could go into the Nike store and you could add luxe materials and finishes and different eyelets and different color laces and stuff. And you could really spruce your clothes, your, sorry, your sneakers up in a way you went to to spruce them up and they kind of usually um offered you the air force one as the base model usually the low and you know the air force one model you'd imagine with the you know with the balance paneling in terms of it being kind of simple on the upper and stuff you'd imagine it's a pretty easy color to like colorway right to fill in no 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 this is why the colorway experts do get paid, paid what they paid and this is why collaborations go off crazy because the regular person given an unlimited amount of colors an unlimited amount of materials to a certain extent and a silhouette as easy as an air force one to color in and to fill in will fuck it up and we saw loads of early examples of people's ideas on nike like god damn it man you paid 200 pounds to get that shipped to you you waited eight weeks for that nonsense that of that flipping you know rainbow flipping diarrhea that you flipping spread all over your flipping shoe it's absolutely crazy and to me these kind of look similar to it it kind of has a feel of a bit of a nike idea shoe now or, or in a new balance id now it would be quite interesting if this is actually the whole point if the point of this shoe was to maybe introduce a new new balance id my ids my mbs um individual custom type of program that'd be pretty cool if they use the 990 um, v6s as a silhouette and actually want to push them but i feel like this is an official collab this is like as official as a fucking stray rats collab would be this isn't like some random you know pe that they've kind of given it or whatnot this is a shoe that's going to go into retail it's going to go into stores and shit oh my god oh my god i have to stop this i gotta stop i gotta stop you know, you know what's amazing I just figured out I'm not sure if this is like his pair or if this is somebody else's pair that they've kind of got on the screen I'm just watching them now I'm looking at them if you're not listening to the, if you're not watching this show you're not going to know what I see here but the first thing I'm kind of seeing here this is maybe the first time ever that I've covered shoes that are due to come out and I've seen them laced correctly they're actually laced correctly now this might be because actually Bros is actually a sneakerhead and he's from that cloth but oh my god they're actually laced correctly you got the bottom bar here straight. You got them going up an angle here, creating this kind of V shape, but they go over there and then they go under here on the left foot. Then if you scroll across to the right foot, the V goes over there on the left foot and the other lace comes underneath there and it follows suit all the way up to the top, even underneath the flipping um, eye stays or the lace stays, whatever they're called. 
Oh my god. Okay, props to Action Bronson for getting that done. Or whoever owns this pair for lacing them correctly. Hallelujah, man. It doesn't take much. Instead of that awful kind of factory kind of choke lace system they got going on that comes straight from the factory floor. This looks great. Okay, I take it back. The laces look great. The colorway I'm still not that fan of. Um you've got this like really weird combination of like a somewhat what do you call it? like a forest like a forest green like a foss like a moss type of colorway that's like in a suede so over time that'll end up looking kind of grayish like i'm not really too fond of that then you've got a brown bits of leather here you've got neon green mesh you've got um what looks like is that like a griddled um plastic gray um swoosh the only thing i think that's a good idea that he did here is a little pop on the laces i think these tubular purple and lilac -y type laces are a really good pop they added on that's like someone that's got a bit of an eye that realizes you know how laces can kind of change the look of your shoe and just kind of give it a little bit of a sprass it kind of reminds me a little bit of the the dave smith um what you call it the stash um air force nike air max 90s actually from or maybe air max 90s are like 95 inspired from back in the day if you know you know they kind of remind me a little bit of those and you also got the green eyelets here that kind of look a little bit similar and then the midsole is the one that's a bit confusing you got these three different cues of blue going on here you've got this kind of navy blue you've got this sort of like you know what do you call this uh uh sky blue and then you've got maybe the sweepway blue or the ocean blue, whatever it may be. And then you've got this addition here, this kind of like icy um, blue outsole that reminds me of a Rupert workout. And at the end, you've got this really big hit of a fluorescent orange, maybe to keep you honest in terms of reminding you of your kind of working class roots on construction sites. I'm not really too sure. But either way, the color combination, especially just this bit here from the moss green to the blue, I'm not a fan of. And that bit on top, I think by themselves, this midsole is quite cool. By themselves, this mud guard that goes around it is also cool. By itself, maybe this section here is okay, but I feel like in combination, it just don't work. There's just too much going on here, which is what makes me feel like it's a Nike ID shoe. Or it's what happens when New Balance tells you, hey, here's a fucking archive. Here's a Pantone color book. Um, here's the flipping materials lab. Here's some of our designers. Do what you want. And then you kind of get a little bit over, oh, this is a bit too much. You don't know what to do, how to pick. And you end up picking just everything under the sun. Like, if it's like every color you could pick apart from black is on here, you even got a different color green on the inside of the mesh. Like, god damn it, is that so many colors here? Anyway, let's go back to the article again, see if I get more information. It says, For his initiative, Action Bronson worked on the popular sportswear company on a wild um, New Balance N990 V6 makeup. The match up with this high spirited personality is taking the dad shoe and spruced it up with a multicolor orchestration. Okay, you know, if them talking nonsense here. Uh, Tongue swaps, tongue swap out the traditional New Balance moniker for the Baklava hit that references the recently launched digital marketplace titled Baklava Flea Market and obviously blah, blah, blah. So let's see what the recent update is on these. The recent update, as of usual, has been following our initial preview, actually brought some colorway. Uh, Poggy has re really revealed a closer look. Poggy is wearing a pair. Release details have been have not been disclosed aside from the previously stated um, release here. So okay, this is these are Poggy's pictures. Okay, that's why maybe they're laced properly because Poggy's been around and he knows what I've gone. But still, I'm not that big of a fan of them. I don't get the hype. They look a little bit underwhelming to me. Look at people are just hyping them for the sake of hyping them. And you know, you've got like the wrong type of New Balance influencers kind of riding for them, like the Matt Welties from the fucking Complex Sneaker Show, who anything New Balance make, he's gonna ride. So it just doesn't really give me any sort of hope that these are nice in any, any way shape or form and anybody that i know that i like who i respect their taste you know aren't necessarily jacking them but i feel like there's been this concentrated effort to pretend that these are nice and these look good to me they just look like really horrible ids um that people made in maybe the early 2000s so i'm gonna pass on these personally but hey you know i'm sure no one's gonna be kept up late with my review on those ones